The KMT has today continued to attack the Sai administration's infrastructure development plan, calling it just another attempt to buy votes that will leave a huge debt to future generations. DPP lawmakers argued both Pan Blue and Pan Green municipalities would benefit and warned the KMT not to oppose the project for opposition's sake. The ruling party is aiming to pass the spending package by the end of the current legislative session. KMT lawmakers today held a press conference to denounce the Tsai administration's infrastructure development plan, saying it was a way of spending money to buy votes. I'd use a few words to describe the forward-looking infrastructure development plan. It's a politically motivated vote-buying scam that leaves a huge debt to future generations. At the end of this, we'll need to investigate who should bear responsibility. The infrastructure development plan will stimulate an estimated 1.777 billion NT dollars in investment across both the public and private sectors, and it will also create 40 to 50,000 job opportunities. The plan is a much-needed turning point for all of Taiwan. But members of the KMT caucus remained unconvinced by the economic stimulus figures put forth by the ruling party. There's not even one new Taipei project included in the program. It's a form of pork barrel politics that discriminates against the Pan Blue camp. We in the Pan Blue camp can endure discrimination, but the people of this country cannot be treated this way. I personally think we should reject this proposal. We would ask the opposition party not to be reckless and oppose this simply for the sake of opposition. This plan doesn't distinguish between Pan Blue and Pan Green. It's for the benefit of everyone in Taiwan because we don't have room to fall behind. The legislature has scheduled a three-day review of the plan for next week. The ruling DPP is aiming to pass the spending package during the current legislative session, but Pan Green legislators will have to reckon with ongoing opposition by Pan Blue lawmakers.